Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Indonesia here. So today it's my turn to review this iPhone 7 in 2024. That's it, worth it. So without further ado, let's get started. So here's the phone. A matte black color. As you can see, it has a major scratch, but no, no problem for me. The body still in good shape. No bend, no swollen, no anything, no problem. And the front part still in good condition so now I'm going to tell respect but before that this phone was released in 2016 it has a 4.7 inch with retina display 750p for the resolution display at the top we have a core receiver 7 megapixel selfie camera and sensor and below we have a single home button also support fingerprint let's move to the back side It uses a fully aluminium for the frame and back. For the battery, it has a 1960mAh, Apple logo, 12MB rear camera, quite LED flash and mic will be here, Apple logo on here. At the right side, power lock button and top and below black line. At the left side, volume up and down, silent switch. At the top, nothing. At the below, we have a single speaker, dual screw, charging port lightning type and mic will be here. So it has a 2GB of RAM, 32GB of storage, Apple A10 version chip. So now let's check out the UI. This is the lock screen and the home screen. First thing first, let's go to setting and we'll show you what it runs. Currently running on the latest version, iOS 15.8.1, as you can see. So no iOS 16 or 17 on this iPhone 7, let's reset. And also, I will show you what battery health on my iPhone 7 with service icon about 74%. And also, I got the message of important battery message, so that means I need to replace the battery. But for me, as long as no swollen can charge, no problem for me. So now let's check out the performance of the UI as you can see so smooth and no problem at all. It support 3D touch but this model doesn't support because the previous owner did replace the LCD, the cheap one so that's why it doesn't support. So very good for the performance UI. So now let's check out the social apps like um, X still good it has a small lag but after using a long time then it runs well no problem and Facebook Very smooth. Wow, even on the latest version. Already. So fast, you know. YouTube still works. A bit slow for the loading, but on the latest version. give a like <laughs> so no problems for the most of the apps recent apps launching apps really fast I really like it even this phone turns 8 years and it's still fast so for the games you still can download most of the game including the heavy games but so iPhone will turn hot so quickly even on the small game but for the highest game or you need to play in front of your fan or your aircon or you need to buy a mini cooling fan put on the back of your phone to make it more cooler now let's check out the camera like I said just now 12 for the rear 7 for the selfie so clear you know a selfie Wow, 
for the same win it's so clear you know wow for the setting of the camera you need go to setting select down camera so here's all of the setting for the camera you can shot up to 4k 30 fps but if you are one 4k 8 60 fps you can buy iphone 8 or above for the slow motion it has a two ocean 1080p at 120 or 720 at 240 it's very nice i really like the phone so much it's designed to the quality wow so does this phone still worth it or not my answer is yes because i can see it 98 percent of app are still compatible on this version so no problem for you to download many apps so before i end this video you can give me feedback for this iphone 7 review in 2024 in the comment below and so just for me thank you very much and don't forget to subscribe to my channel see you on next video goodbye and have a nice day